Good morning everyone and welcome once more to our daily reflections. This morning I'd like to say something about those who may be feeling isolated or lonely at present. We know that these are difficult and challenging times and may well remain so, at least for the foreseeable future. But scripture gives us an important sense of comfort, for it reminds us that even when we feel most alone, at our most isolated, that God through Christ is with us. And so I'd like to share this morning some further verses from Romans, St Paul's letter to the Romans, and this time from Romans chapter 8 verses 31 through to 39 in a passage entitled Nothing Can Separate Us from God's Love. Paul writes, What shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Since he did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us everything else? Who dares accuse us, whom God has chosen for his own? No one, for God himself has given us right standing with himself. Who then will condemn us, not one, for Christ Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us and he is sitting in the place of honour, God's right hand leading for us. Can anything separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? As the scriptures say, for your sake we're killed every day and being slaughtered like sheep. No. No. Despite all of these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. For I am convinced that nothing can separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below, indeed nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us, will be able to separate you from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. We give thanks to God for our reading from Scripture. May God add his blessing to our hearing of his word. And may we always remember that wherever we are, we are held in God's love and Christ is with us all. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all and those whom we love. This day we pray and even forevermore. Amen. And thank you, dear friends, once more for listening and being with us here this morning.